Hello everyone! As we all know, playing video games has become a popular activity for people of all ages nowadays. Video games are quite a controversial issue and are frowned upon parents and education experts alike. Not only are they perceived to waste time, but these games are also capable of corrupting the brain. So, did you know that on average, Girls spend more than an hour per day playing video games and boys spend more than two hours. While teens are often spend even more time than younger children. Video games have become very sophisticated and realistic. While some games connect to the internet, which uh, as we can see, that it can allow children and adults to play games and have discussion with unknown adults and peers. So today, I, Irdina Zulaika Binti Halimi from class AD2443B, uh, would like to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of violent video games to the society. Violent video games have been widely banned by experts as the reason behind violent or extreme antisocial behavior among the youth. Uh, however, in spite of widespread objection against video games, scientists and psychologists have also found that playing video games may have a few benefits. I believe we all love to play video games through our phones, PC, and PlayStation, or many more, because I do too. So, what is your favorite video games? As mine, I love something that is extreme, cute, and probably some mind-thinking games. But, do you notice that most of the games made are almost a lot that has a violence effect on some video games? As I see, this is concerning it this is concerning as it may or may not give an impact to those who are playing it. While some games have educational content such as those mind games, but many of the most popular games emphasize negative themes and promote the killing of people or animals, uh, the use and abuse of drugs and alcohol, criminal behavior disrespect for authority and the law, and also ex uh, sexual exploitation and violence toward women. So, according to neurological studies on the effects of video games on the brain, playing these games can change the physical structure of the brain in the same way as playing music or learning to read can do. As video games may be capable of helping kids develop to develop high level thinking skills and make them smart. So, while there are a few bad effects of playing video games, there are a few advantages too. Before allow before allowing you I'm sorry, before allowing your child to play such games, it is advisable to get a complete picture of a of how video games can affect the mind and given below are few advantages and disadvantages of playing video games. So, there are four positive and negative effects that occur. First, the positive effects. From the, pro from the positive effects, which is problem solving and logic Games. Some video games force the brain to come up with creative solutions to problems, thus improving the logical thinking skills of the child along with helping him or her to develop the imagination. Solving puzzles and similar tricks, in short, births get easy for kids as they learn to think out of the box. Next, teamwork and cooperation. Many multiplayer games require the player to cooperate to secure a victory. And these games encourage players to work on their skills. So, as we can see that they can contribute to them to the team effort. 
while playing such games teaches teach children the value of teamwork from an early age so that they grow up to be a better collaborators. While the third one is developing skills in reading and math. Um, gamers need to read instruction, understand them and act accordingly. The storyline of the game has to be followed and relevant information from the game text need to be understood. And also, many games involve quantitative analysis, such as mas managing resources to win, uh, and both of these situations develop the gamer's reading and math skill. Last, improve hand-eye and eye coordination, motor skill, and special skills. By playing games where the player's character has to run and shoot at the same time requires the player to keep a lot of factors in mind. All at once, the player has to keep track of the position of the character, note where the character is heading, check the speed, aim the gun, and also take out the enemy. By coordinating all this at once, require a lot of hand-eye coordination and visual special ability to win the game. So, we move on to the negative effect. From the negative effect, we can see that these violent video games are mostly encouraged violence. The biggest negative effect of playing video games is the tendency towards displaying violent behavior. Children who play video games are more likely to display aggression, violent feeling, and destructive behavior. Next, encourage risky behavior. By this violent video game, many video games are built on the premise of engaging in reckless or criminal behavior, such as kicking, stabbing, fast driving, rash biking, or theft. Children who are exposed to this game from an early age show a tendency to act out similar scenarios in real life. The third one is teaches, uh, teaches children wrong values. Games reward players for indulging in the aforementioned risky behavior. By aggression or violence is rewarded with victory and points. Children who play such games may feel that the same behavior is acceptable in the real world as well. So this is might affect the children as well too. Other than that makes children socially isolated. Playing too much video games means children spend less time on other activities such as playground sports, reading, and many more. Not only does this discourage other avenues of growth, spending time online restricts real-time interaction with people and hampers the, the development of social skills. So, as we can conclude, uh, the advantages and disadvantages of violent video games must really be applied to each gamer for an accurate result. Some people are more influenced by this content than others, why is, which is why we must work together to avoid the moral panic that can occur when an individual decides to be violent in real life. As numerous studies and evidence show, playing video games has its pros and cons. So, while the cons are quite worrying, which it should be noted that with a little supervision and a bit of well-judged screening, the negative effects of video games in children can be curbed. Also, it is advised that parents stay aware uh, parents stay aware of what kind of people their children are interacting with online. Following these simple guidelines will ensure your child is not deprived of video games. But rather will enjoy its benefit to the maximum. So, even if we as a gamer also need to take remind to ourselves to take precaution and not to be so addicted.
And last that I can say, good game and well played.